negotiation starts. So we're having problems with some of our little kids. They walk very far to school, which is normal here, but they're, it's dangerous, the roads that they have to walk on. And a couple of our kids have been hit by some of the motorcycles and ended up at the hospitals. We are in desperate need of a vehicle to get the kids to and from school. And we had a wonderful, beautiful family. Donate money so we can do this and so I literally just landed and we're already starting to negotiate We're gonna go see some vehicles tomorrow We're gonna you know try to get this done and try to get these kids to and from school Beautiful rainy day in Benin. I Love the rain because it means it's not as hot Awesome. All right, it's raining and we're car shopping. This is the first one we're thinking about. Nice little Toyota Highlander. Just did a test drive. I haven't driven in Benin in forever. It felt kind of weird. Now we'll go and see what the price is. This is definitely interesting doing some car shopping. This is the car dealership that we are choosing from, one of them. All the cars lined up in a row. Hey. Okay, too much, too much yeah. money for a car that had 167,000 miles on it, a flat tire, and the air conditioning didn't work. <laughs> so, we're gonna go to the next place. We'll see. Is that him right there? No. Yeah, there's our Sherpa. He's our, he's our vehicle Sherpa. We have a broker that we're working with in the city who can help us maybe find uh, a vehicle. So the adventure continues. Are you filming? We're on the search. I'm trying to follow a pin dropped in the middle of Benin on Google Maps. And so we're hunting now. We're hunting for a car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we've come to the end of a road. We're going to someone's house. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. That Toyota right there we're looking at. We're recording. Okay. okay, so you can be the videographer. Wait, okay. okay. Uh, we go to look again on uh, one car. Here we go. Wow, for sale uh, the house of destiny. Exactly. Yeah. So here we go. Yes, we, we, we are on the road. <laughs> okay, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find the right one. <coughs> this one's too small. This one's also too small. We need a vehicle that'll fit like seven to nine children. This one's too small. Wait, set class, wait. We has a bag of keys, literally. Yes, Monami, uh, uh, what you do here? We are looking for a vehicle, for a school bus for the children. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. God bless you. You're welcome. This one doesn't have as many miles on it. Let's see if the air conditioning works. Not that it's a prerequisite, but it's a nice to have. No. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, it works. The radio works. Hey, Fred. You can drive uh, to see. Yeah. yeah. To a test drive? Uh, for, uh, for see the quality. The motor, all shoes Great. that you want. Yep. Because you are a boss. <laughs> Me, I am your boss in Benin. You're, you're my boss in Benin, and you're and I'm your boss in America. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play out? Grab the essence, I guess. I'm going to Gaze. Gaze. But it's 2004, so and be careful. Dad, I need you. I need you, Dad. I need your mechanic skills.
Okay, this one seems to be actually really excellent. I just test drove it. And I kind of like it that the license plate says BS on it. Like, we don't take any BS at BABB. We don't take any BS. Very hard at work. Yeah, we're hard at work trying to decide what to do with the vehicle. But first, we need to eat. We need some nourishment, and we need to not be hypoglycemic before we make any big decisions. <laughs> our new baby. We kissed a lot of frogs today, but we think we found the one that has no BS. We came back to the one, a Toyota Highlander with no BS. I feel like we're in good hands. Negotiations are over. The sun is going down. That's how long we've been here. But I think the negotiations should be over soon. And we made a decision. You want to see some cute pictures of her? Here she is. She's going home with us. Dad, do you like her? Yeah? Are you tired? Me? Yeah. No. Smart. <laughs> Small tired. <laughs> a big uh, program today. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hey, yeah, I mean? we've been a, it's a big program, he says today. It's a lot of work. We're in the way. Filming and in the way. Better take that curve. Don't watch that. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's got it on lockdown. A fungangia. Fungangia. Good morning, everybody. We are on our day two adventure. We are going all around Benin, trying to figure out how to do some efficient banking because they won't accept bank transfers. <laughs> the seller won't accept a bank transfer. So we are running around. We've already been to four different banks last night and then one this morning, and nobody will accept our bank transfer. <laughs> So I'm trying to use one of the world's slowest connections for internet to download the Western Union app right there and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Um, Constantine and I have just been talking about the new school bus and I've just learned something that right now the seller still has it because we're trying to figure out how to do the banking here and in the meantime the car is still with the seller so we don't have it in our possession but we've put a down payment down on it and Constantine just told me this that this is actually a risk that could happen to our vehicle yeah why do we need to take the mechanic we back go, with us we will go with the mechanic uh, because the seller knows that we want to take the car so he can change on shoes after to buy we 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 can find a problem oh my god it is why we we, we will go tomorrow okay. with a, a mechanic man can you believe that i learn something new every day being here i had no idea that that was actually a risk oh my gosh so much it's so so, so fascinating. It's so fascinating to work and be in a totally different part of the world. And you don't think of these things, but thank God we have Constantine because he knows all these things. I just love you. I love you, Constantine. Me too. I love you. <laughs> We are on 
on a mission. Is our car still there or has it been sold to somebody else? <gasps> it's there, it's there, it's there. There it is, there she is. There she is. Good, it's okay, keep going. We're stealth right now. Mission accomplished. Okay, it's still there. That's good. He hasn't sold it to someone else. This is interesting. It's like using dial up. But the banks in America are very leery of banks and financial institutions in Benin. So we've gone to Western Union, we've gone to RIA, we've gone to three different banks. And now I'm in an internet cafe trying to access our banking because Wells Fargo <laughs> thinks it's suspicious, as they should, they should. But it's really um, been an interesting day trying to traipse all over to get this donation out of our bank and into the banks here. But it's taking forever. very difficult. That didn't work because my US SIM card doesn't work here for the phone and they want to send me an SMS, like a text message, and I'm like, I can't access text messaging and they're like, sorry, there's nothing else we can do for you. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't want to know all this, but it's just very frustrating. I can't get the donation moved from there to here. Wells Fargo, help me. Wells Fargo, you're failing me. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to have to sell myself or something or sell, I don't know figure it out or steal the car maybe I'll just steal the car that'll be way easier okay oh my gosh thank you so much literally I'm Sarah it's lovely to meet you you have no idea how much you're helping us this is Constantine thank you, thank you. yes he's thank our you. he's our director in the country it's almost midnight here and we've been wrecking our brains on what to do Wells Fargo you're the freaking best I hope you can pull this off. Thank you so much. Our kids need their school bus so badly. Okay, it's been five days and we're here to do the final payments and final negotiation with the school bus. Yes, it's taken five days to buy a car in Benin because the how of how the banks work here and also literally how you negotiate this car. So five days later, we're here to pick her up. So we brought the mechanic because apparently sometimes here in Benin, once you've negotiated a car, they'll take the parts out and keep the parts, the good parts, and put like crappy parts in and or like steal stuff from the car that's like not necessary or change out like the tires and put old tires on it so we had to bring the mechanics back to make sure it's the same car that we actually saw five days ago and they'll test drive it again to make sure it's the same car that we saw there they go off for their test drive oh also by the way we got into an accident on the way here a moto hit us this moto here it's all banged up hit us in the back of our bumper, right there. And we barely felt it in this big car, but that poor guy. It's a good thing I had white hair mesh put in my head because I've been here all morning and my hair is gonna start turning gray. We're still friggin' here. I don't know what they're doing. It's taking like an hour to exchange money. I don't know, they're arguing and talking about something, but it's all in fonts. So I don't understand it. And I've told them twice, come on, let's go, get the papers, let's go. Here we go, this is our voyage back to Maison de la Destiny, back to the kids in our school bus. We're on our voyage from the city back to the children's home, which is about two and a half hours outside the city where the airport is, Kotonou, and we're headed out to another city called Boycon, 
which is uh, the kids live in a village called Winyasa Zunzasa, which is outside of Boycon. With our amazing chauffeur, Alexis, who is a professional driver, and I trust implicitly. Kudazo! <laughs> here we go. Oh, and don't worry. Horns here indicate that um, you're doing the right thing, and you're indicating that you're in someone's vicinity. Horns here are used like turn signals almost. It actually doesn't mean something bad, it means something good. So you're constantly honking your horn. Very interesting. When I was driving here, I learned that very quickly because I was like, stop honking at me. Everybody honked. And I was like, what? What? I'm driving fine. But it's actually an indication of where you're at in vicinity to other cars. Yeah, Constantine's about to take a nap. <laughs> Hi guys, what do you think of the new car? Good morning. This is a momentous morning. It's 6.30 in the morning. It's very momentous because this will be our maiden voyage with Braxton's bus. So we're getting ready to take the kids to school for the first time. This is the bus stop. This is the bus stop essentially in front of the Maison de la Destiny, where we'll get this day started. <laughs> you take the okay. video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just one. Everybody's a bit confused. Okay, make sure you take a good video. Okay. Okay, video. Right. Okay. Everybody's a bit confused as to how these work. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, let's inaugurate the other side. Go ahead. Go ahead, Enoch. Wow, Kutazo. Kutazo is good job in fun. C'est bon. Bravo. Bravo, bravo, tout le monde. Kutazo. There we have it. Here we have it, Braxton's bus. We love you, Braxton. And we love you, Rio's family. Thank you, Papa Braxton and Mama Braxton. Okay. Everybody say. Oui, say. Au revoir. Passez un bon journée aujourd'hui à l'école. Écoutez pour vos professeurs à l'école. Okay. Here we go. All packed in. All packed in and ready to go. <laughs> Yeah. They can go. Go. Go, go, go. Go. I think he he, he knows that I'm taking a video so he's going really slow. <laughs> Get the kids to school. 
<laughs> he knew I was taking a video, so he was going super, super slow. Braxton's bus came to be because of a beautiful family back in the United States who had a baby boy and they named him Braxton and he was stillborn and it was quite a surprise and it happened very suddenly to this young family and it was devastating and they have dedicated part of their lives to talking about stillbirth, making it less taboo and giving other parents a safe space to talk about the pain and trauma of stillbirth. And um, mommy and daddy Braxton are still parents to, to Braxton, even though he's not with us today. And this family has kindly generated resources so that we could obtain a school bus to take the kids to school. And so Braxton's little life can live on here in Benin, West Africa. Stillbirth is an issue that is close to our hearts here at Build a Better Benin, since the infant mortality rate is so much higher here in Benin due to lack of resources. Medical care here is privately paid, even though it costs only about 15 to $20 to have a baby here. That's still quite expensive for many families that live in rural communities such as this one to have access to their health care. Or if they do, they can't take advantage of it. And so the infant mortality rate is exponentially higher here in Benin. Stillbirth is exceptionally close to our hearts because Constantine and Mama Miracle, the couple who take care of the children on a daily basis, also experienced stillbirth at the same time as Mama and Daddy Braxton last year. And they both lost baby boys around the same time. And what's even more magical and amazing is both of these families have had rainbow babies, a baby after stillbirth, at the same time as well. So the Rios family also had a rainbow baby girl and Constantine and Mama Miracle have had a baby girl who is now three months old and Trezor is doing phenomenally and she is thriving. And so we have two rainbow babies in our family, one here and one in the United States. So Braxton's bus and Braxton's life um, have exceptional deep meaning to us here as well in Benin, not only to raise awareness, but to keep it in our hearts and our minds that this is something that happens and that we are not afraid to talk about it, be advocates for change, especially in medical and healthcare, which is something that Build a Better Benin is a part of, delivering better healthcare to our communities here in Benin. The kids all know Braxton. I told them the story of Braxton. Constantine and his wife um, constantly are thinking and praying for, for um, your family and Braxton and it's, it's exceptionally magical what's happening here um, because of the life of such a precious little boy. We thank you and my heart is so full this morning for everything that you've done and everything that all of our donors do because none of this would be possible without you guys. Thank you so much. And now that I'm crying, these guys behind me are totally gonna make fun of me because this is not a crying culture, <laughs> especially when you're happy. <laughs> and grateful and grat full of gratitude. So they're always like, oh my gosh, Mama Sarah is always crying. What's wrong with her? It's because I'm just moved, overwhelmed with emotion. So I thank all of you from Benin. Love you guys. I just woke up, so <laughs> this is me first thing in the morning in Africa. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, right, guys. I'm available. This is adorable. The chauffeur has taken it upon himself to every morning before the kids get in their new school bus, he checks all the tires, all the fluids, all the oil levels to make sure everything is copacetic and safe for the kids to get to school in the morning. This is the first vehicle that we've ever had in the family, so everybody's very excited and wants to be very good stewards of their new, their new resource. They've only had it for two days and the way that they guard it and take care of it is really, it's really fun to watch actually. 
Oh, she's getting her first bath. How adorable is that? Gonna be all clean and ready to go. So I'm literally hiding in the back, squished in the back while our chauffeur is driving to go pick them up. We're just in front of the school. I think it's coming up. So you guys can see. I can't see. <laughs> you guys will be able to see. I want to surprise the kids. You guys like my triple chins, by the way? I'm sure I've got like five of them right now. Um, I'm here to surprise the kids. They don't know I'm in here. There's one. I think somebody found out. They're really bad at keeping secrets. They're really bad. Shh. Go, go. Go. They're really bad at keeping secrets. Really bad. News travels so fast in villages. I'm, everybody knows your business at all times. It's You cannot... It's crazy how, like, spidey sense the Beninois have. Is there anything happening behind me? I don't, I don't think so. Do swear. Do swear. Hi. Thank you. 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 Thank C'est joli, hein? Inaka? C'est joli? Thank you, Braston! Yay! C'est bon. Ok, ça y est. Go to school. It's time to go to school. Au revoir, ma chère. Au revoir tout le monde. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a good day at school. Goodbye. Goodbye. Au revoir.